Today we're testing onion. So onion is a fructan and I've had success with other fructans in the past such as garlic and grapefruit so I'm really hopeful for onion because it's in absolutely everything and I would love to be able to eat it again because it means less restriction when I'm going out to eat at a restaurant or even cooking at home. I've been using green onions which is great but onions are also really good for you and I would love to be able to not have to worry about trying to keep those out of recipes and reading labels on everything. Now I haven't had much success with other fructans such as grain foods like wheat or couscous but I've only formally reintroduced wheat before and not couscous. I just know I've had reactions to it in the past. Also raisins. I haven't formally reintroduced those but they're in the same group as grapefruit so they might be okay if I formally tested them but I'm focusing on onion because I desperately want to be able to eat onion again. Over the course of the next three days, as long as I can get through the first day, we're going to reintroduce onion into my diet and see what happens. The first day we're gonna do an eighth of an onion, which is about 11 grams. The second day will be a quarter of an onion, and then the third day, a half. We're gonna make onion rings, and we're not gonna fry them because there's a lot of oil involved when you fry things, and that can trigger IBS symptoms. So instead, we're going to bake these. To make your onion rings, peel your onion and then cut it into two inch sized rings. Weigh out your onion to desired grams for testing. Let your onions soak in water while you prepare the rest of your ingredients. Measure out one sixth of a cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour. Add a dash of pepper and salt and stir that together. In a food processor, add one slice of gluten-free bread, mix that until you get a very fine breadcrumb consistency, then add some spices, a dash of pepper, some basil, thyme, oregano, or other Italian seasonings. Mix one last time until well blended. Add that to a second bowl. In a third bowl, add one egg white, mix in a dollop of mayonnaise. This will create an even stickier mixture. Stir until combined. You may need to add a little more mayo to even out the balance of egg white to mayonnaise. At this point, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Grab one of your onion rings that is soaking in water. Shake off the excess water and dip the onion ring into the flour mixture, coating it evenly. Transfer the onion ring to the egg white mayo mixture and coat generously before transferring to the last bowl of breadcrumbs. Press the sides of the onion ring until it's completely coated in breadcrumbs. Place on a baking sheet. Repeat this process for remaining onion rings. Bake your onion rings for five minutes, then flip and bake another five minutes until golden brown. Our onion rings are ready. They look absolutely delicious. They smell really good too. Very crispy. You can taste the herbs. They taste like onion rings you'd have at a fancier restaurant. I'm not necessarily like the greasiness that you get from fried foods at like a sports bar. They're holding up very well. A lot of times with fried onion rings, the onion seems to just slip right out. But with these, it's like, it's not going anywhere. These breadcrumbs are like stuck on this onion. Awesome. We'll see how it goes. All right, it's day two. Today we're doing a quarter of an onion or 22 grams. They look pretty delicious. I did have some slight heartburn yesterday, but it was really minor and didn't last very long. So we're going to go for day two. I think those would be really good if you had a sauce to dip them in. We have a ketchup recipe on our blog and a video on how to make your own ketchup at home in less than 10 minutes. And that wraps up day two. The onion rings were fun while they lasted, but I did have a lot of heartburn going into the second day, so much that I decided to call it quits. But I am filming this several days after day three because I wanted to see how long that heartburn would last. And it did last for like two or three days and then started to taper off. 
and I continued to eat a strict low FODMAP diet. So definitely know that I'm not ready to reintroduce onions into my diet completely. But it's also good to know that it just causes some heartburn. So if I do eat some onions or something with onions in it, then it's not the end of the world. So if you're looking to reintroduce onions back into your diet to test them for the low FODMAP diet, then check out our website, woodyandmarie.com for this onion ring recipe. See you later.